Are you the type that is easily bored with today's horror trend? Do you wish you can experience a horror that engages your adrenaline like the older style horror genre can? If you align yourself strongly with these questions, I just might have the perfect pastime for you to enjoy. Before we begin, I do want to clarify the nature of this game. This will not require an ungodly number of requirements for you to fulfill. This game will not require a drop of your blood, or will it require you to give an object you hold dear. Just a simple game of waiting. You're likely wondering what does waiting have to do with horror? Will it yield results? Will it be entertaining? Depending on how the game goes, it may be a yes or no. To play the game, you have to be in your bed, lying down on your back during the night. You will also want to make sure you are the only one in the room. You can play this game with the lights on or off, but for the best results, you'll want to have your lights to a minimum. If your lights can't do that, then you can get some candles to dimly light the room. Once you have your desired conditions, lie down on the bed and remain there for the game. Stare at the ceiling for a good five minutes. After doing so, you'll want to quietly chant this phrase. Modern thrill bores me. You'll want to do this until you become bored or annoyed saying so. Once you do, say the phrase, show me a good time. After this, you'll want to try and take the time to relax while looking up the ceiling. Nothing might happen at first. You'll start to think that this is such an absolute waste of your time. However, once you reach this point, the first part of the game will initiate. You will suddenly feel the alarming feeling of being watched. You will never know where the source is coming from. It will just sit in the back of your mind, gnawing at you. You know someone else is in the room with you, but you can barely bring yourself to get up and see where it's coming from. All you know now is that you're not alone. This will only last up to three minutes. It will, however, be the longest three minutes you have ever experienced. At this stage, two results may take place. You will either still feel a bit tense or you will feel like you just had your best life take place and your matrix have never been this comfy before. If you feel the first result, take note that the second stage of the game will not take place and the game will end. This will last until the next day after you played. If you feel the second result, the second stage will take place. Now would be a good time to talk about player 2 of the game. Who is player 2 though? Remember that feeling of being watched in the first stage? You were right to assume you were not alone. For something, or someone, has taken notice of your boredom. I unfortunately am not able to explain the nature of player 2. For those who played do not know either. All that is known about player 2 is whether or not it has approved of your request. Do you also remember back during the first stage, you felt a gnawing in the back of your mind? Player 2 wasn't just watching you, but was also taking a look inside your mind, intentionally provoking your primal instincts to gaze into every single crevice and corner it can explore. It will continue to do so for the duration of the three minutes, until it is either satisfied or disappointed with what it finds. If it takes a disliking to you, the first result of stage 1 will commence. It will just take off and leave you feeling tense for the duration of the night. If it has taken a liking to you instead, then the second stage will begin. Stage 2 of the game will begin with the feelings of danger disappearing. You will find yourself in a state of pure relaxation. At this point, you are wondering what does stage 2 have to do with you? Will anything happen here? What is the purpose of player 2? To answer those questions, this stage is not reliant on what you will do, but rather 
how you will react to player 2. Player 2 at this time will no longer be peering into you. It will have taken its eyes off of you. This is to avoid triggering any feelings of being watched. It will then begin to emit an aura. This aura will allow anything or anyone within the radius of the aura to release any tension they have been feeling during the day and find themselves relaxed. This is mainly why you will feel the sudden wave of calm that will hit you in the second stage. We refer to it as player 2 because in stage 2 it is player 2's turn to play the waiting game. Is this aura a form of cheating? In its case, no. It won't be a powerful aura, but you will feel it. You will feel it just enough, just long enough for you to eventually drop your guard. The goal of stage 1 is to earn its favor to start the game. The goal for the rest of the game is to remember player 2 is in the room with you. Player 2's goal is to make sure to give you a night you will never forget. If player 2 manages to get you at any of these stages, you will lose the game. Losing the game, thankfully, is not of any huge concern. But if you lose, a sliver of your peace of mind will be taken as its prize as a reward for each time you lose. It's not much, but it's also not something you want to keep losing. It will get to you eventually. For stage 2, you will want to fight the feeling for as long as you can. Giving in to the feeling so soon will leave you vulnerable to what it will do. You can try to get up if you want to, but it will not allow you to. You will find yourself fighting against your own relaxed body, struggling to keep aware and alert of its presence. You can try to match player 2 with its patience if you want, but patience is an art it has mastered. No matter what you do, you will eventually succumb to the aura. Even though it is somewhat pointless, you will want to fight the feeling anyway. This will condition you to sense for player 2 for when stage 3 commences. Stage 3 will only initiate when your guard has been dropped and you close your eyes. Whatever player 2 does next in stage 3 will vary from person to person. Leaving this stage, the only one with a bit of a vague description, I cannot for sure say how stage 3 goes, but I can tell you this. To keep it a fair game, stage 3 will start off harmless. You will hear a small whisper right next to your ear. After you hear that whisper, you are allowed to look for a few seconds. However, you will want to close them again before you lose. During this time, Every 30 seconds it will increase in intensity. Also, if you know yourself well, you will know exactly how stage 3 goes. Stage 3 will last for 2 minutes. The goal of stage 3 is to keep your eyes shut. You must not see or look for the origin of the noises you will hear. Once this stage is complete, stage 4 will begin. Stage 4 is the final stage of the game. In stage 4, nothing will happen. In fact, you won't feel any sense of danger or hear noises, but you will suddenly feel awake and alert. You will feel tempted to open your eyes to see if player 2 is still there. Whatever you do, do not open your eyes. The goal is the same as stage 3, but the conditions and feel of the game will change at this point. The silent ambience is a trick. Player 2 will have figured out at this point noises won't make you look. So, it will pull out one final trick. It will trigger your curiosity instinct by taking its eyes off of you. It will then restore the atmosphere at the point before the game ever started. It knows that humans are naturally curious creatures. It knows that if their desire to be curious is entertained enough, they will eventually give in to their desire to fulfill that curiosity. This is why the majority who play this game will always fail at this stage. They could never keep their eyes shut because of the curiosity to see if it's still there. If you can resist the urge and remember player 2 is still there, you will make it through this stage.
The only catch is this stage will last 7 minutes. 7 minutes may not seem long, but it's all the time it needs. It does not take long for the human mind to entertain the thought of looking, and it has found that 7 minutes will always yield results. Anything after 7 minutes, it will grow bored and end the game. The game will end when the creature releases an aura that fills your body with energy. You will be forced to open your eyes. There is nothing you can do to prevent this part. You will then see player 2 standing over you. Player 2 is never completely visible, but the only thing you will be able to see clearly is its eyes. The eyes will inject your body with an intense adrenaline rush you have never experienced in your life. After you gaze into its eyes, the creature will then disappear. Congratulations, you have won the game. What is your prize for this game? A simple but yet pleasing reward. You will begin to find entertainment in stuff that once bored you. You will experience modern horror trends in ways you never experienced and find horror movies enjoyable again. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Almost too good to be true without a catch, maybe. The good news is, there is no catch. You have entertained player 2 with your determination and have won its favor. You can enjoy your well-earned reward and enjoy a period of new thrills. However, just like the bad, the good can't always last forever. As much as you will enjoy the new thrill, the human body will eventually catch up. It is adaptable to anything you throw at it and will most likely get used to the adrenaline rush, almost as if you were back at square one. You may end up once more finding yourself bored of the today's horror trends, wishing for more excitement in your life. What's next then? The good news to my friend, you can always play again. After all, you have found favor with it, and it loves playing the waiting game. Even better, you know how the game goes, so it's only a matter of time, right? After all, it never requires anything on your end to play. So, what are you waiting for? You can always play again.